What's it like, Trudy? What? Being a mum, being pregnant. It's a bit of a shock at first, but you get used to it. I don't think I could. I suppose it helps if you have the dad to help as well. Not if it's Zoot, what a nightmare. Yeah, but that was Zoot. He was crazy, loco. Even if he wanted to be daddy, would you have let him? No. I was lucky to have Bray. Wonder who she'll grow up to be like. She could be another Zoot. Great, that's all we need. Sue so can't have been all bad, otherwise you wouldn't have, you know. He was different when I first met him. Shy, <laughs> intelligent, sensitive. Zoot, you're kidding. Before the virus. Then he changed into Zoot. He used to be Martin. Let's hope you've got more of Martin than Zoot. Listen. Can you look after her for a while? I just need some time on my own. Why don't you get somebody to help you all the time? Yeah. What do you mean? We're the richest, most powerful tribe now. Yeah. You could easily get someone to look after her. Someone who'd be there, even if the rest of us were busy. That's a great idea. Yeah. Come to the country, he said. Fresh air, blue skies, birds tweeting, he said. Get up in the middle of the night, he said. Come and breathe that sweet, clean country air. Brian, you've been complaining ever since we got here. I never thought you were a city boy. Yeah, and I suddenly understand why Alice was able to leave. I still don't. What do you mean? She loves it here. Why would she want to live in the city? All this Tai San stuff? Don't you think it's a little weird? Tai San's weird full stop. She spooks me sometimes. Alice just seems like a big honey to me. Tysan is from the moon. Alice will be drawn back. The rhythms of the earth will call her. Now that chick really is weird. Yeah, moon, earth, what is she? Some kind of witch or something? Could be. Better be careful what you say around her, Ryan. Uh, uh. <laughs> Waste of time. I've been through this lot before. Maybe you missed something. The truth's here. I know it. Okay, what if it isn't? It has to be. If we can't find the answers, history might repeat itself. And how'd you figure that? Just because we've got the antidote doesn't mean we're home free. Look, okay, what makes you think it's all in one place? I mean, it's kind of convenient. I'm trying to be logical. This is the best place to start. This is where they found the antidote. Yeah, and it's clearly a dead end. Jack, I don't believe you got where you are by giving up easily. <laughs> I thought you liked a challenge. I do. But... What? What is it, Jack? What? What if we don't like what we find? How they look. Divine, like a princess. Aren't you glad we took them now? I don't think they're really bribes. The kids who were sick were just really grateful to us. That's all. We had to take them. Princess Chloe I, and I'm her cousin, Princess Patsy. Queen, you should be Queen Patsy the Great. Why, thank you, Princess Chloe. Now what about Bob, the royal dog? Mm. Or Porky, Her Majesty's pig. Mm. They need something special. Something that reflects their position in the kingdom. Mm. Perfect. Mm. I name you Sir Bob. Mm. The royal dog. Mm. Rise, Sir Bob. <laughs> Well done, sir. You're a real winner. 
Congratulations. Perhaps Sir would like some assistance in escorting so many valuables home safely. Who said anything about going home? I haven't even started yet. I'll tell you what. Have a nice game of cards. There, all secure. Now we can see how Bray and Denny got on. <coughs> that doesn't sound any better. Stop fussing. Well, nowadays you can't be too careful. I know my own body. I'm just a little run down, that's all. Maybe you should try sleeping. Who are you? My doctor now? Well, you're the only one who knows how to keep us all alive. Your health is kind of crucial. Oh, so it's not me you're worried about, really. I can't win with her. So you mean that these weirdos actually refused the antidote? That's right. You recognize any of them? Ebony. Who, me? No. Why? Their leader wouldn't reveal himself. He kept his hood up. Ooh, spooky. Oh, come on. I mean, it must be a fake. No. No, they were serious. This is absurd. How, how can they survive without the antidote? But what if they can? Yeah. Ali, we'd, we'd better go back for those officers again tomorrow. Keep on looking. Where's Lex anyway? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to you? Uh, I fell over. And the pigsty. He stinks too. I do not. How was the gathering? Good. We got what we wanted. You guys didn't seem so happy when we came in. Oh, we had a few minor problems. But Danny's right. I mean, we should be celebrating. For the first time since the adults died, there's gonna be peace in the city. Law and order. Brethren, here before us lies a brave disciple. A true spirit. One who is now ready to begin his journey to the place we all dream of. For we are the chosen. For we are the chosen. May the Great One be our guide. May the Great One be our guide. Today, an unbeliever offered our brother a cup of poison. The evil yellow liquid which eats the soul and blocks the way to glory. But he refused. He obeyed the word of the Great One. For we are the Chosen. For we are the Chosen. Oh, Zoot, mighty Zoot, make us strong that we may do your work and lead this Babylon to destruction. For more information on audio dramatizations, please visit www.tribeworld.com. Keep the dream alive.